Hi there friends, welcome back to another video on paying it forward. This week I have another viewer question which was related to conditional formatting in Power BI. Something I've used a little bit in the past but I always love to have a look into it and see what uh, I can do to help someone out. So let's jump straight into the question from the user. All right, so the question that I got was that someone's working with a calculation group. They have a measure for the last n days, a value of a measure for the previous n days, and then a percentage difference between the two. And what they want to do is conditionally format the percentage difference when displayed in a matrix visual. Specifically, they want it to be red for negative, yellow for slightly negative, and green for positive ones. But since the calculation exists within a calculation group, they're having trouble applying the conditional formatting. Any ideas on how to achieve this? So it took me a little bit of playing around, but I think I have something to help this user out. So let's jump straight in. I've prepared some data here in Power BI. So this is just some manual data that I prepared to kind of mimic what the user had mentioned in their question in that you have basically a couple of columns with a measure, the value of the last end days, the, the previous end days, and then the percentage change. And what I've then done with this data is I've just put it into a matrix visual kind of showing the difference of the percentage by date across the three different measures. And what the user was saying was, how can I apply conditional formatting to this? There's for me two ways that I've discovered to apply conditional formatting. One of them I would say is easier than the other, <laughs> but one of them's perhaps more user friendly than the other one. So let's just jump straight into them. The first one that you can do, so when you come over to your values over here, if you select this little down arrow, then you'll be able to see that you have here conditional formatting. And there's a couple of different options that you can use when it comes to conditional formatting. You can change the background color or the font, or you can add icons to it or something like that. When it also comes to selecting the options, you can use gradients. But for this particular case where we want to have three three distinct colors for specific you know changes in the data we want to use rule this got caught me a little bit unawares when i was first using this because i was experiencing some issues in how to configure this particular conditional formatting i will show you a quick example of what i mean by that so if you can see here i'm basically saying if the value is greater than or equal to zero percent but it's less than zero and i was putting in here something like 20 percent thinking that this would become between 0% and 20%, then I would want it to be, let's just make the color green, for example. But what I was seeing is that all of a sudden you get in the visual, you get all of these minus values that are actually showing up as well, because I assume it's probably counting above, but it's just also counting below, which is very weird. And yeah, those positive values, it's really weird. You can see that the minus nine gets doesn't get highlighted so i was thinking to myself how can i do this or how can i make it work so so what i found was you have to approach the way that you apply the conditional formatting a little bit differently so i'm going to come into the conditional formatting here i'm going to pick the rules and what i'm going to do is change it to number instead of percentage and what i'm going to do is if it's greater than minus 100 <laughs> percent and then it's less than minus 0.2% or 20%, we should say. Uh, so if it's greater than minus 100% and less than t minus 20%, then we want that to be red. It, it takes a bit of getting your brain kind of arranged to, the, to this here. So, what we're, so just to cover the three rules real quick, we've got greater than minus 100%, and less than minus 20% is red a little bit because the that was the if it's very negative then it should be very red if it's a little bit negative so if it's between minus 20% and 0% then it should be yellow and then if it's above 0% then I'm going to make it green so if we hit on OK keep all the fingers crossed you can see it all lights up and we can now see that within the conditional formatting that we have all of these rules applied and you can see that the everything's green which is positive is showing up everything that's below 20 percent is showing up and so on so this is one approach that you can use but for me it's a little bit like it gets in my head trying to figure out all of those percentages a little bit so i wanted to show an alternative approach or let's say a more old-fashioned approach that i've used in the past so if we come into transform data 
we can actually add also you can see on the bar at the top here when you go to add column you can actually create what's called a conditional column so we're going to add the conditional formatting column and we're going to call this conditional formatting and what we're going to say is if the if it's greater than or equal to zero then it should be green if it's less than minus 0 0.2 then we want it to be red and in all other cases we want it to be yellow so we we're not we're not having to specify every single clause but we just have to specify the two that we want that are, let's say the outliers where if we have anything in the middle in this case we're just going to select it like this so if we then run it over and you can basically see if we just have a look down through the data and zoom in a little bit you can see here below 20 percent red above zero green and then between zero and 20 percent we've got yellow so you might be thinking though peter that's all good and well but how do i apply this into my data so what you can do now is if you come over here and go back to conditional formatting again and we're going to change it like this instead of using the gradient the rules we're going to use a field value and it will then say which column do you want to use and i'm going to use my conditional formatting one and you'll see now that we've done that you'll see the colors are applied directly to the data based on how they were formatted from the actual conditional formatting column so you're ultimately writing a formula that you use to specify the conditional formatting and have that write the colors instead obviously in this case you can see i've got these colors if i wanted to go back and make a small adjustment to the conditional formatting you can just by the way if anyone didn't know when you make these steps it creates an applied step and then you can come back and click on the little icon over here and that allows you to come back in and make a small change so instead of green i wanted it to be blue um, and i just come back and apply you'll see that it changes to blue it you can really you know go crazy with the colors if you want to do and use it in whichever way you want to but kind of using this approach you're kind of hard coding the actual values for the numbers and that way you're able to apply conditional formatting without having to necessarily configure the rules but using instead a calculated column to be able to do it for you all right so let's just quickly recap the video for today so the first thing that we went through was the challenge that came up in this video which was one of the amazing viewers of this channel reached out with a question around a challenge they were having in power bi with conditional formatting um, and they were struggling to get red for negative values yellow for slightly negative and green for positive ones so what we ended up doing when we went into power bi is we looked at two approaches to applying conditional formatting the first of those was using rules directly within the actual Power BI designer itself um, and then configuring rules based upon the actual column and determining them with some, let's say, tweaks as we went along to try and figure out how to make it work. The second approach, which I would say I, I still prefer the best myself, is using then a conditional column the way you can then hard write the actual formulas that you need to be able to have the data represent a color and then use that color to then present the conditional formatting on the on the associated data that you wish to do all right so thanks again for the viewer for submitting that question i was like trying to get questions where it might be something i have a little bit of knowledge about but i like to go in and research and see if i can figure out other options and ways that you can do these things as well so i hope you found it useful um don't forget if you've watched this far to subscribe like the video and uh, share it with your friends also comment down below if you have any other suggestions for a video for me to make and i'm looking forward to sharing another video with you soon take care and don't forget to pay it forward.